All right, Famu Lem, without wasting much time, because my guest gets um, another commitment um, later on in the evening, Saturday. So we get to make the program very, very fast. Um, today, I want to welcome on all, welcome on board the Teletoracial Talk Show platform. And if you just are joining, please share the video. If this is your first time, I want to welcome you. Um, share, share the live. Follow me on Facebook and on YouTube. And also love and like the video. And also, yourself can be part of this conversation. Who you day, who they can do so today, and send in your comments uh, in the comment section and have your say. Today, we can talk about you know something this week. You know we really be, become or became a, a, a discourse in every part of the world with Salon Day, with other PR system, and also and so many things. This um the, the victims say, where let me go bear a um, couple of days ago and so many other things that will happen this week where we they can talk about but more especially the PR system because when a member say parliament we don't condemn we don't kick them out and now the president president Bioda endorsed them again for 2023 election so and of course the the majority opposition party with another APC party don't cry foul say this now, uh, 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 not a work, this unlawful, and so many things. Then, that's how they can explain to me why they feel say this PR system not good for Salon come 2023 election. So, without wasting time, I will bring my guest now, possibly. I mean, when they see all over social media, when I don't hear it in voice as well. Um, but he go introduce himself to family and where they see him for the first time. Minkailu, welcome. Let me bring up Minkailu. Good evening, listeners. Um, delighted to be on the show. I mean, this is not my first time on this platform, but I'm glad for there. And to the one that we don't know me, me and I come get me Kailu Koroma, and me are one of the persons that we talk for the All People's Congress Party in Sierra Leone. Welcome so much. Welcome, welcome, and thank you um, for the benefits of the one that we don't know. Mean kind, we don't introduce yourself, and we don't see a voice very outspoken. Um, even though you know um, the opposition has been muzzled, but now possibly always they come out and make a strong statement when it necessary. So welcome on board. Today we'll be talk about um, without wasting time. Like I tell family, do you love and like the video and share because this is very important uh, um, to be all as a young people. And we say we can learn because we don't hear a lot of people in the year about this PR system, especially look at the illiteracy rates in a salon. We know say salon literacy rate high, and some of them big words there. So people we know they the people and they understand, and so that we easy for being misled. And at the end of the day, when we make the wrong decision, we as a citizen or we as Salonians they suffer for another five years of bad governance. So I want to make we go straight to this PR system before any other thing again where we uh, we will touch on. I want to you tell people um, uh, what is really that this PR system with President Biodo endorse before we know say far the um, parliament we don't kick them out but now we every way you know uh, um can uh, the, the neck boss don't come out and say that this PR system when we want for use come 2023 election and of course President Bio endorse them then we see say we see a lot of statements for the first time where APC come out in a very strong manner and also una way they outspoken for for the with APC party come out very strong say this is uncalled for and this is not acceptable. I want to tell people that what's in this PR system and why una stand very strong for ensure say in all work come twenty twenty three. Well, the PR system actually not a novelty. You know, new now the Salian political vocabulary, because there was a point where it don't exist, but to be in the circumstances that we make it exist. Then circumstances, then they actually not the right now. You know, um, we will say PR system, not district block system. When we now go into election, a, pol a particular political party go able to get seats then a certain district depending on the threshold we go meet. The percentage of votes where you go get it. But then circumstances they are only applicable where the situation arises. Situation where 
go uh, witness a, a time where we not get constituencies. A situation where we go witness a time where we all go agree, say, Lord, we get a PR system before a date of the election go be appointed. Like we'll get uh, the 24th June now. So we, as a country, if the circumstance be arise, we all for not agree as political parties say yes. Now we not get existing constituencies. I mean, the time not go permit we, the country they in a situation of crisis, then the country go agree, say, Lord, go into PR system. But that is not the case at all. So let people let know say, oh, say PR system, you know, not only the constituency system. We get 132 constituencies there. Now this country, we get 16 districts there now this country. The PR system, they only deal with the districts. The threshold where they get now the district, now they make you get seats there now that district there. But that is not the position of the law as it is right now. Now we, we all know say on the 21st of October, 2022, the Chief Electoral Commissioner, Mohamed Kenewi Kone, be pulled word now do. What the Englishman, they say press statement, in which he say, he don't receive directives from the president on the 20th of October for making announce to, we say, the next election who they go to, the multi-tier election who they going to on the 24th June 2022. What he referred to as multi-tier election, the election where they vote for the president, you they vote for members of parliament, they, they vote for local council. Like you council or you mayor or you chairperson in a district. Now I make the refer to as multi-tier election. He said that election they they go into. Now the district block system would they use or the PR electoral system. We don't waste any time as a political party. We condemn her in its entirety. Because the provisions of the law we rely on is saying the reference section 38 of the Sierra Leone Constitution okay. Act number no. 6 of 1991. We as a political party don't come out who respond spontaneously. You see uh, tweet messages that come out from legal luminaries. People that like Joseph Fitzgerald Kamaya, we don't serve as Attorney General Minister of Justice. We also be don't be the ACC Commissioner. If we don't be a prosecutor for the Special Court of Sierra Leone, we don't be great after the war. Now a senior lawyer in this country, he condemn him completely. He say not to so the law say. We see people there like Lassana Dumbuya, who himself now a very seasoned lawyer, a condemner. We see Adi Macaulay, Esquire, who recently then be arrested and detained for reasons where we go consider for the unreasonable, just for merely interpreting provisions of the law. Himself come out a condemner. But most importantly, we representatives them, where we elect, you know, the leader of the opposition of parliament, General Ramadan Majuba. Instead come out plain and tell Mohamed Kone and the Electoral Commission say, look, the provisions they want to rely on, say I make on our invoke or proclaim this PR system, he said, you know, all water. He said, because not also the law say, and this don't go good for democracy in this country. But above all, we also see the ITGC, one of the interim transition governance committee of the APC, write a very strong worded press release. We direct to the president and ask the president for revise and directives. Let it get to the thing and make them drop out. If you know to that, we as a party go use all the legal remedies that we are available to reach for make sure they will compel government not for use the PR system. Because in order in the interest of the country, in order in the interest of democracy, in order in the interest of the people of this country, especially at this time. Oh, we are not saying. I, I want to hold one small. I want to make you educate Fambolem how this PR system look like. Because so, some of we understand from your knowledge, it's like then they take Sierra Leoneans, they write. Because at the end of the day, what do you register for? If they're going to take you right and at the party get for decide who they're for put for go represent them. So I want to on maybe explain to salon people um, how this PR system look like where the president don't endorse for 2023 and why Una say they kick against them. Well, they kick against them because, like I say, you know, they in the interest of democracy. Well, say true democracy, I mean, this is the right of the people for let them choose their representatives. Then let them able to vote now the world, they vote now the constituencies, then vote for the president with the world. In a PR system, not to the people that actually directly they choose their representatives. Then, now the political parties then they select 
a number of the individuals. One, the one that the one that we then favor, the one that we then want. Yeah, well, it depends. Of, that is not true democracy. It is not true democracy. Yeah, it is a representative democracy. In that case, the will of the people more often than not not going to be realized. Yeah, in constituency system, now the people and they vote directly for who they want to be the representatives. Now I make you see in a constituency system, somebody go to say me no one belong to no political party. I want to run as independent candidates. Either win. If you people and want you and then believe say you go serve them better. In this parliament right now, they so we get people that are members of parliament when are independent candidates. Because so, the people and choose so for vote for them because they believe in, in this PR system. There will be no independent candidates running. Or, or, well, uh, there is a misleading statement, but it's not possible because the political party representation it is just not possible, and the circumstances don't even arise for law get a PR system. Now, what they make a PR system day? Now, where it's impossible say it can happen like 1996, Sierra Leone been there at war. Not to all side they will vote. Not to all side they will pull candidates. Not to all side they will hold convention. Because we've been there at war, they make that arrangement. They say, well, who we side they not go able to pull candidates there for constituency election? Law go by the PR system. Depending on the votes, where the party they get at that district day, now that they go make when appealing the members of parliament, they on the threshold on a mix. But 1996 done, we come to 2002. The war finally be end in 2002. On the 18th January 2022, now the war end. We make say now democracy, you the practice on every corner of Sierra Leone. And that is most of the reason now we decide now for go into the constituency system because now the circumstances don't arise anymore. Sierra Leone is not at war. We have existing constituencies. A date has been appointed. And if that is the case, there is no legal basis for make go get PR system. The SLPP get this notion. Yeah, the figment of the imagination say. Then we will get votes now almost all of the districts. And so if it is a PR system, then we will get members of parliament then at all of the districts. That is the assumption they are making. And because they also see say then go easily rig, because when it is constituency election, each constituency, you go able to know how much presidential vote force you get at that constituency day, and the party will win the parliamentary seat at that constituency. So before then they announce the results, we almost don't know who that win. So they also see say the PR system an easy way for make them rig the election. Now make them think say they for go by the PR system. But we have said no. Now we get existing constituencies and mark you before then they announce the date for the election. Where the chief electoral commission has say a date has been appointed, will be still get constituencies there in existence. Parliament yeah. don't say if the neck ECSL one do boundary delimitation, let them do boundary delimitation, but. Now, 132 constituencies, parliament, we don't approve. But we also challenge the saying, they're not going to even do boundary delimitation. We've been getting the debate on boundary delimitation, they lost them back because they want to rely on the sensors, the midterm sensors data for the boundary delimitation. And the but midterm sensors how data authentic, is how authentic, how authentic is that uh, midterm sensors result? Well, now that make, because now that make, of, yeah, we had a lot of challenges then. Maybe they fly in here and there. We see statistics uh, and, and, and people let me they, they go on strike and so many and challenges the women did. So you nine they were used as a base for go on with the PR system for the 2023 elections. Nine they were used as a base because in the press release of the ECSL, they said them been they do boundary delimitation, but because of the exigency of time, they don't hold sound with immediate effects. They're not going to do boundary delimitation again, so then go go with the PR system. But up initial, from the beginning, we as the main opposition party and other political parties, then we form the consortium of progressive political parties. We we'll don't tell and say, look, this midterm census owner rely on it erroneous. This data are not all water. In order in the interest of the people, the European Union be don't advise on this. The World Bank boycott the process, they advise on when I tell them, say, when I know they do one for political purpose, when I they do one for long, when I get data for development purpose. And now, when I want to use that for the limit boundaries, we condemn and I will say, no, go hold water. Because even the election, the, the voter registration, no more force, don't expose the midterm census data where they get. 
And not because they know say the voter registration. How you think they say that? Be something so data we then get. Okay, let's clear that one. Why you think? How you think say that that not expose them? Uh, 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 the the, the midterm census results we then get. How? Because in some areas, the number of people that we they say now then are residents of that areas. Some people and they will register now for the voter registration. We even exceed the number where they've been present, saying that they are registrants then for the for the midterm census. And mark you, the midterm census they cover everybody where they exist in that particular locality. They we always have free time. The picking away them born today self or yesterday. The granny that everybody the the, the census they cover, but voter registration they only cover a limited number of persons, like the one that we don't eighteen and above. Or the one that wait for 18 by June 24, the one that wait of sound mind, and the one them were willing for go register for votes. If, if 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 voter registration limited to a certain category, then that number they you know don't almost exceed don't exceed the midterm census. It don't defeat the purpose of a midterm census. So now they see say hey we're not going to do bandy the limitation rely on this midterm census lock out another fraud when a, a PR system. But we have said no. And we are going to put the court to test once more again. The right, let's, take a, let's take a listen. Uh, you mentioned, say, a lot of legal luminaries them come out from the APC. We even also try for interpret, you know, um, how and when this PR system can be used and why it is not necessary at this time. Take a listen. National census results came out. And secondly, there were constituencies existing at the time. Mm. Have not been established. Have not been. Don't we have constitutions? Existing. When something is existing, has it not been established? Establishment comes before existing. They've not been dissolved, have they? As at the date of the announcement of the date for general election, there, there, was, there were constituencies in existence. Using which data? Which constituency are you representing? Mm. Which constituency are you representing? Using the 2012 No, no, data, which constituency are you? 003. 003. Using the 2012. Are you telling me 003 is not in existence? Using the 2012 data? It's not. As at the time the census it, results It is was not announced. my problem. That is yes. the problem of the as election commission. of that geographical area. As at the time the data was, this look, census data look, was established. Look, I am it's a lawyer. Easy. I don't talk out of the law. Well, that's what we are saying. I know why I gym problem. No. So I talk within <laughs> the law. So the, the law is this. That's what we say. When a date for general elections for members of parliament is announced. Mm -hmm. If on the date that announcement is made, there is no established constituency, then you go for the PR system. But if there is an established constituency, you don't go for the PR system, you go for the constituency <laughs> system. All right, so uh, what's it you take on that? It's very correct. I have stated it. A date has been appointed and there are existing constituencies. You know they bring camp PR system where we already get a date for the election. Why make we appoint a date for the election? Now because constituencies they exist. And I like the question where Adi Macaulay Esquire asks Gival Esquire where they represent Gival Esquire where they represent the SNPP. He asks and say which constituency they represent. You then a parliament on the basis of the fact that you legally they represent constituencies. And then constituencies and they don't expire it. And even the time, you go do census within five to seven years. But then constituency then from all get and not expire it. And so as a result, therefore, there is no need for a PR system where we get existing constituencies where we don't appoint dates for the election. So this, I mean, a faulty, the APC go challenger, you not get any legal base. It is misleading. The president, you know, has been ill-advised. The, the president, illegal advisors, they not do justice to him. I think say for going at it going board, and I mean let it be patriotic enough is the fountain of honor. Now if for protect the constitution, not only for bastardize the constitution, make it go back and tell ECSLC in the interest of uh, 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 democracy, for protect the laws, in the interest of peace, let me go back to the constituency system because the PR system not go all water. Like I say, the APC the challenger, we are going to put the courts to test. And we're going to do everything for make sure say we not go by PR system legally. All right. Um, uh, uh, that brings me to, you know, the next question, because we have seen so many times where uh, um, the Constitution, like you say, the rule of law, you know, where this government um, don't 
don't twist and turn, don't bastardize them, don't turn them for suit their own uh, um, comforts, you know, in their governance. But all we see with the APC is just uh, um, comments, press release, and that's, and that's where it stops. When will you challenge this government in terms of some of these decisions being made uh, at the detriment of Sierra Leoneans and at the detriment of we democracy? When will we see the APC strongly challenge this government? When will we will see that? Is it with the PR system now? The time is the time is now right to do what is right. As has been stated, let me uh, restate this point. We are going to put the law to test. With the challenge the SLPP led inept government to the fullest. I agree with you. The laws they don't bastardize, bastardize them in bastardize them in no small ways. I remember a lot of people be the urge the APC say, who's on our left sit on the impose a speaker on parliament so I get the majority. Who saw on our left sit on the remove 10 of our MPs they own get the majority. Who saw on our left sit on the kill people then on a strongholds? Who wanna get the majority now this country? But we now people away averse to any way violence. The APC don't keep the peace of this country. And we know what we'll go through during the decade civil incursion of this country. And they tell you, Rachel, we still get the history in our hand. We get onto the fingertip. Even as a lawyer before me, now the TRC reports them. I get volume one, two, and three, and the recommendations they already be make. The decade civil war will be happening at this country. The destruction will be caused. In Baku, now then thing and they make APC they restrain. We believe say the only way for change government is through the ballot box. Not to wreck any mayhem. Now I make way people learn voluntarily being demonstrated for their rights. They work out APC side they some of we vex. Because if the APC they demonstrate, we don't need for IBN to finger, we don't go IBN anybody. We the leaders of the APC now say say go lead that demonstration. Hey, not to somebody who go go IBN or a group of Sahara Leoneans for doing for we. Now we go take the lead and demonstration illegal in the part of law books. It is locally and internationally recognized. What do we they do as a party? We they make sure say we protect the interests of democracy, we protect the country interest, and the soft in masses. We're not gonna allow the SLPP forget a field day on this. We they challenge them to the latter. We they make sure say we go through the due process of the law locally and sub regionally, we get remedies them. But we will force the SLPP this time round for the waiting rights and waiting in the interest of the country. Um, like you like, like you just don't explain so many things the way don't happen, and uh, the people of Sierra Leone and UNASEF acknowledge the fact that you have been restrained or you were not being very proactive because of UNANUAN cause any mayhem and everything, and you have accepted that. Will this be different? Will this be a different approach? Um, like, unlike the past, when Richard, you know all of this, will this, be this. A, a different this. approach? Will we see yeah. anything different this time around? And why you think, say, this PR system is very, very dangerous for we democracy and the 2023? And it's dangerous for our democracy. This is going to be very different. We are not going to allow the SLPP to manipulate the process and get another term in office. Five years, not to five months. We don't endure for five years. I mean, you the rig election during them processes they are. I mean, the introduction of the uh, 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 abnormal electoral laws they are. I call it abnormal because they are not guided by you know the legal principles. We for guide them. Now then, those that time, we'll see what they do for us. They suppress first-time voters in the registration. They started by introducing obnoxious, you know, laws. Then go to the parliament, they say, Public Elections Act of 2022. They say, then they count NIN, National Identification Number, you forget them. Then go count, then count Boku Boku things they will kick against. Now they say, well, the NIN go be optional. If you not get the National Identification Number, as long as you get bad certificate or you get naturalization certificate, or somebody go able to recommend you say you're not Sierra Leonean, you don't reach that age, you get any other proof, you go be registered. What you then do? They suppress a lot of young voters, first time voters. They suppress a lot. And I think, say, the APC 
we're not going to continue for uh, accept then canteen and day from the SLPP because these are bases in which elections can be rigged. Because they see, say, but so already, so, 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 in other words, when they say, um, the president endorsed this uh, uh PR system uh, as a way of trying to rig the election, uh, uh, um, before even the election. I have stated it in very clear terms. All the approaches that we don't use for rig the elections, we don't ensure say we defeat them on all. One, they brought in a novelty midterm census for the first time in the history of Sierra Leone. The midterm census don't all water because the people of Sierra Leone boycott them. They now able to rely on that data day when they say voter registration. Before the voter registration, they count electoral laws them. We go limit the civic space. We go limit the electoral space. I mean, so they your advantage. We make sure say we defeat them on down the back. They don't fail in that day. Then the, the voter registration, they suppress some people them, arrest some people them, put them in a cell, like Yabom, when at the district chairperson for Tonkolili District Council, Mohamed Bangra and others, they arrest them during the registration process on baseless allegations so that they're not going to be there in districts and constituencies for mobilizing people them. But to go against all odds and ensure that we people that register over one million. After all that, they say now, what you for do? Lock out the PR system. Because the boundary delimitation don't fail, the censors don't fail, the manipulation of electoral laws don't fail, the voter registration, whether they want manipulate, it don't fail. Now they say, now step by step, this is what they do, so they plan up. And but we go stop there at any given point. And this back again, we're not going to relent, we're going to pursue onto the latter, and we'll make sure say, you know, all water. So how much time um, the, the, does the APC, how much time will I get for, for go through all of that when um, the APC, you know, gets in your cracks and you still not, not get on your own convention, no flag bearer? How much time do you have in your hands to ensure, say, when I'm able to achieve and not able to stop uh, uh, um, the president this time around uh, um, not to, to go with the PR system? You see the collective approach you don't use. You don't hear it from the leader of the opposition or parliament, the, 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 the chairman, interim chairman of the, the, the ITGC. You don't hear it from people there like Jeff K, people there from like Adi Macaulay, Lance and Adumboya. Almost everybody across the political divide, the internal political divide on this issue, we all speak with one voice. We all on the same page. That now for tell you, say we're ready for take on the SLPP. Head on. Enough is enough. Forget about the internal squabbles within the APC. It is not new. In 2017, the APC and the SLPP, we get to the flag bearers there about the same time. We they elect Dr. Samura Kamara Namakeni, the SLPP, they elect uh, uh, Julius Madabio, His Excellency Julius Madabio, Nakatsuko Hall, Nakito. So it is not new. As far as I am concerned, the SLPP be equally gets too many divisions. You've been getting a lot of... Uh, other ask me and there like 11 of them coming together. There was the KKY faction, but in the end, they were able to come together. So I they tell you, say, no matter the internal scrubbles within the APC, this is the time for us to come together. And now we don't decide to put all petty sentiments aside and put the party interest above all else. And that is what we are working on. We are going to work on this collectively. We are going to you know, fight it as a single unit and we will ensure we overcome. So I want to allay the fears of the supporters there across the universe, the one they were the home and abroad. That then see are you know new. It is not uncommon in politics. Yeah. Running up to 2007, we been get about 11 to 17 cases there. Now cops. We see the late Seri Kamal, the Editore, the ML Bangura, and others, you know, versus Anas by Kogoma. But in the end, we come together and sing the APC victory song. We go into elections and win, and we see what the EBK do. Say Kamal was made attorney general minister of justice. You know, Editore was majority leader. He was appointed as high commissioner. I did it for 10 years now, the United Kingdom. Every other person benefits from the cake. The cake is big. Now that they could only perfect to self. So we don't realize that. As a party, very soon and very soon, we they come together for present a united front for approach the common enemy. So, so far with this uh, uh, um, PR system, since um, President Bio and Dosam, we um, kind of 
the, 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 the deck was uh, also issue other press release on we don't engage um more at the answers them international community uh, um, within a salon on we don't engage them yeah well in the press statement of the itgc then call on the i mean international partners for intervene as soon as possible and engagement and meetings they go on as i talk to you so now you know there are constant engagement with international partners and all other electoral management bodies we are not just writing letters or press releases and relax. The engagements are ongoing, they are constant. We are also going to use other means to ensure we compel the SLPP. Other means I am referring to legal means. We cannot hesitate approaching the Supreme Court for interpretation. You know, we cannot hesitate to do everything that is possible when a legal remedy is for ensure say the SLPP comply this time with the constitution and the provisions of laws. So uh, uh, th this challenge, are you really challenging the 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 president's uh, um, decision? It, 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 is it because uh, on a feel say based on what team on self don't do and the expectation that the APC is going to win the election, or is it in the interest of the people of Sierra Leone and democracy? Now, well, it is not only protecting the interest of the APC. The APC will not only be the party that will be, you know, contesting the elections. We have other political parties. We are trying to protect the interests of Salyon. We are trying to protect democracy. And we are trying to protect our constitution. No government, the world over, nobody take advantage for the trample upon the constitution. They bastardize the constitution. They just think, say, because you did it as a government. Even if now APC been there, some of you not go support we party for just they misuse the constitution. So with the challenge, these particular directives where the president don't get to ECSL because we want to protect the constitution, we want to protect democracy. In the area of winning the elections, we just want to let the ballots, no, we cast them. We the in the majority, we don't do assignment. Now we stand in the internal dispute within the APC. People and they do the work across the board, across constituencies, across districts. Government, they campaign for we have the day. The one when uh, um, the data will be used for even access to the internet, the alarming increment on the tariff. A lot of people are now it hardly for let them come online for even use the internet. We they see where government are able to put things in place for cushion, you know, the alarming economic hardship now the country. We they see the skyrocket, you know, rate of the United States dollar as opposed to the loans. Where they be advised and say redominate redenomination not correct, they say that they do one. We they see how government is spent recklessly on uh, what you call recurrent expenditure than capital expenditure. Only on international trips, each money they go. So government don't campaign for we already. We just want to let there be a fair process, let the laws be clear. Now we go into a clean contest. We they beat them without going to a runoff. We they right, beat them. So, okay, so I, I, I want to ask you um, the question. Somebody they asked one question, but before we go to that you, we also see uh, like you said the the tariff of of we we internet don't also um ri rise to the point that people are even <laughs> don't have that kind of money to buy data to go online do you think that is another strategy to muzzle the the the, the, the media space for for people that no, not forget yes, information yes. and everything yes it is a strategy to limit the civic space you know, it, I have said this countlessly. Now, people, they rely on the media because government they will give an alternative. Now, this program with the go so Rachel, it educates a lot of Sierra Leoneans at home and abroad. The only way we then go get access for watch this, now we go subscribe, you go online, you go Facebook Live, you access your page, and you will watch them. But if you don't get money for buy top up, I go able to watch them. So now, approaching elections, government does he say the opposition and the ordinary Sierra Leonean go use the social media judiciously to advantage and make the law increase the tariff. So an alarming rate, where they make them, they become very unpopular by the tick of the clock. They don't even care. But you know, politics are like football. Where you make mistakes, the manager make mistakes as to how you fix the team, the players, the way they sign, the strategies the way they use, and they make you lose game. And at the same question. the government they do. Yeah, okay. let the laws be um, You know, um, Musa, they asked this question back and back. And we need for clear because um, you never know who that will go ask Musa again the same question. We say we will for clarify. 
Musa de Asse, my, my question is, do we have the PR system in our constitution or is it a new law? So Musa one for no, because I think, say, it assumes, say, if we get on our constitution, so why you kicking on it or why you crying foul? So now for clarify that name before we go to okay, the yes. issue. For, for, you see, we, the APC, we're not a party where, I mean, reasonable, we patriotic, and we think so for do justice to people there. The PR system, then are the constitution. Not so like, you know, they do. It did they even as amended in 2001. But it did they, Rachel, because of certain unforeseen circumstances. You get both natural and man made disasters. Trade would have been imagined since Sahel Leone go into war. We go into war. It did it. It did it. It did it for a purpose. Like, if the country, in time reach for law, get census, we're not able to get census, we're not able to delimit disaster day in some part of the country, we go use them. We're not going to make other law again. I make it daily. But if the country gets existing constituencies, we are not appoint a date for election. And no reason not arise. We are not for user. Certain laws and day for the circumstance. Now, even at international level, would I be busy say Russia and Ukraine go day into war right now? But even in America or UK, also on a day, when I get laws then, we say, if it crisis day, what thing and what we go do? The that was the day, always the yeah, day. Back the day. Yeah, back yeah, the so, day. Um, Amusa, I hope that clarifies your, your your question about the PR system. Yes, it is not the constitution, but it's like a backup, a backup should in case certain things they happen when uh, like if we're in a war situation or there's a, a, a disaster like just how Minkailu don't explain. Then yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah forgive for that clarification to Musa. Let Musa know say in 1996, Sierra Leone been the power. Now they could be user. The war only done on the 18th January 2022. And when the war done, we'll get constituency, we'll get the limitation, we'll get constituencies. Then now 2007 will be get election, we'll not use that. 2012 will be get election, we'll not use that. 2018 will be get election, we'll not use that. Because one day, disaster, no day, the circumstance not arise, now that they could not ever use that. Why SLPP one user when the circumstance not arise? Now misuse them, one misuse them. Oh, it's okay. Right. okay, so um, look, look, let's let's move on to another uh, um critical issue. You know, where happened again at the inside this week here. Yeah, so we now the funeral ceremony of you know the the people that will be die, the Salonians, the we we heals them will be die. August ten, uh, uh, we pass so and also. After August 10, other people and die as we go. And one person will in name be make a you know be create a whole lot of talking points, even as to international level that I know of. Um now evangelist Samson. So and we hear we say uh before even the burial, the information minister say they mean get consultation with the families and the families they all agree you know except for evangelist samson in family but they all agreed that okay we the one for give them a state they give them the body to the state and make the states give them a befitting burial but before you comment on what happened you know um during the, that, that process they entail and will bury them just let, let, let us have take a, a moment and just listen to some of them things here so then you can um <clears throat> you can respond to this. <laughs> No, no, will identify the body there for me. How you gonna see that young person this way die? That can represent. Who's going wickedness this man? Hello? Who's going wickedness this? Hello? What a wickedness, bro! What a wickedness, this! Why would you do that? You, this man, we know. Why, why they will come? Many people are not stabbing, not stabbing the body. Yeah, that's just for us. 
Imagine you cannot be in one, we not even foresee, no side with a dig for the people up. No side, constantly we all come up the loop. We not even know to the power. If we see and do not the IT, Allah go judge. God pass all. Could you imagine the worst government ever in the history of this country? We tell people of stupidity. If we see and do the IT, we left full case to God. Will you imagine? We left, now, now make we never work and some of we, we be not waiting for do. Yes. Yes. They all look, look, look the wickedness to the SDG. Where them we weaker? If we have been also one bell, we now we not bang. We now don't bang the people like yesterday. Next day we now the stupid people like for coming. And see if we now don't get there yet. But God pass to now all. God pass to now all. Yeah. Who's going to be there? 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 So currently viewers we are in uh, Connaught Hospital, Usai, as you see, um, everybody don't gather, and today, now the day we um, government we don't um, select, say for go, beg the one and we'll be lost in life during the August 10 conflicts. Yeah. All right. It's a uh, it's a sad thing to watch. It was a sad day for Sierra Leone. It be at for we, especially we were born, we were not woman. It was tough, regardless of which political party they are. They came out as a Sierra Leonean to exercise their human right. How, as a party, how do you feel when you see all of this happening at the detriment and the suffering of Sierra Leoneans? And the, 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 the information minister say all of the family members agreed say na so governments will go bury them people there so but it doesn't seem like that on the video what's in you take on this yeah i feel pity for the one that were involved we don't express we heartfelt condolences and deep sympathies to the families of the one that we lost their lives on August 10, and even the one that we lost their lives after August 10. Now, I want to make it abundantly clear, see, evangelism something of blessed memory, not a victim of August 10. Not of August 10, then kill him. Or not of August 10, he died. We all see the police press release. They say, then go for go, I mean, raid. Now, it's out in place where they suspect certain individuals, they exchange firing, you know, now within that process, they die. Some of them be tweet and say, it don't seem as if that's what happened. Because eyewitnesses they say they even be shoot Evangelist Samson after we be born for a life. Yeah, yeah, before you continue, the exchange firing, we are, we, we, we there not any kind, war situation of, of some kind. Uh, uh, you may want to ask that question. Uh, you may want to ask that question, but I have just stated waiting me then at the press statement. Right. Let right. the exchange of firing then within the process. But in the end, we know say not to August 10, then kill her, or not to August 10, he died. We also know, say, you see, some of them here, there is time for every purpose. It's not good for country. You know, I mean, it's very, you know, pathetic for there as a country with the witness and kind of circumstances they are. I don't think, say, any reasonable family go rather than bear in post in that way. They. Because Lord, they also they were impermissible. No matter the circumstance in which somebody died, the family can ask for the body and let them get a befitting burial. Laws and day, it is permissible by law. But to see that circumstances and day, and the people that really they deny vehemently say not to so say, we don't give permission for letting them beg people in that way. You know, claims and they will say 
the people they don't even see the cups inside the coffee. And they ask Taylor they open the coffin. A lot of stories and they about that. But I just want to let the family that be rest assured. Say always in the apple so there will be time where the appropriate you know law will take in place accordingly. So, let so them be rest assured. There was so much con controversy over um, you know, that 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 cough that the coffin in the um some people were saying nobody not be body not be the inside the, it was just an empty cup, okay, coffin. You know, them body they did don't deal with a lot, 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 we just an empty. They, but, but looking at the situation and the circumstances in the way these people then bury, then bury them without having the family having access to say goodbye and look at the family member, do you want to begin to think that way as well? Yeah, well, um, me, me actually not go in the position for ascertain as to whether cops and be inside the coffin or not, but as I say. The appropriate time will come where we will get all of that made very clear. And the family themselves will not say a government will get for calm. We will make sure say they investigate the way and manner in which them people let me die. And the one that will responsible for them die one will face the full force of the law. That time they will come to this country by God in power. So so evangelist I'm saying, like you rightly say, was not even part of the death. We have on August 10. Evangelist Samson is a political icon of the APC party. How on the approach in your situation at this time where um, we see how a wife made the call for justice and the intervention of the international community? How as a party on our able to address? Evangelist Samson in your situation because in situation is very very uh, uh, um a very sensitive because it, it represents a political party and he was not part of even the August 10 protest. How are you going to address that situation at this point in time? Where like today? that, um, Evangelist Samson not to only be a member of the APC but not be a fighter for protect and promote democracy. Now, possibly will be exposed anything way undemocratic, anything way they suppress the people and rights. And as somebody way, I mean, it be well known. That is more so the reason why I don't state say, as far as me know, he was not a victim of August 10. Because me mean they on AYV on Sunday. As I read this, so I get a call. I watch social media. They say, look social media, but I watch and see photos. They say they don't kill evangelists. And that was on the 14th August. Sunday, the 14th of August 2022. It was not on August 10. So his case is going to be treated specially. That is why we they continue to ask the family for make the exercise patience and that we they sympathize and empathize with them. We know what in them they go through, especially the wife. We left with the king. I mean, he don't let him as a widow, now a single parent. But I believe that as a political party. We they do everything humanly possible for take up evangelist something and watch him back, even way in a day. And that is going to be handled appropriately. That is the assurance. We be understand, say, or we be no say the president will pull a statement, say, and even bring out names, then we will be part of the investigation committee or whatever for, for investigating the August um, 10. Uh, um, protests, peaceful protests, we turn out for be uh, uh, bloody. And we understand that people are still being arrested. Any outcome of the uh, uh, of this whole investigation and they don't hold anybody responsible or accountable for more especially evangelist Samson with Iona be a separate issue aside from the Augustine. Has anybody been ac uh, accountable for that? And what is the outcome of that investigation? Well, from what we set up a committee for investigate or look into the August 10 protest and make sure they bring culprit to book. Me, I don't know for other person, but I have not read or seen or listened to any updates regarding that. That is more so the reason why I don't state say, as a party, we they take the appropriate action at the right time for ensure say we do everything possible for give all man justice, not to only evangelist something. Wanna be a vibrant member of the APC, 
the APC cannot confront it in the sense uh, that the APC don't make an abundantly clear. Say we political party where they accuse of August 10th. We know to ever a part of August 10th. We know they stage a demonstration in hiding. Of what stage demonstration with the car in the open. We know they sponsor anybody for stage demonstration. Now the leadership of the APC going at the front. But these are Sierra Leoneans. They are patriotic Sierra Leoneans. They get rights for demonstrate for the rights. It is their constitutional rights. It is their fundamental human rights. That is why when we been there on television, even prior August 10, I say if the people want to demonstrate, let them come out in the open their rights to the police and inform them, say that they demonstrate on certain things. It is their right to demonstrate. One of the reasons why they be arrest Adi Macaulay, because he interpret provisions of the constitution or the law, say na so the law talk, na so the law say. But the truth of the matter is demonstrations are legal. As long as they are guided and somebody come in the open for say, I am leading this, and it's justifiable enough, they are legal. And not think so for suppress the civic space, and not think so for suppress people the right for demonstrate, for waiting them believe say it's justifiable. We as a party, they take the right steps, the right position, and give justice to all the ones that win are victim, victims at the appropriate time. The time will come, we'll go address all of that. So, um, uh, moving forward, uh, as you would with, with a round up now, um, what, what do you want for assure the people of Sierra Leone? Because as it is now, the, the too many things going on, you know, um, sometimes we can't even keep track of what's in the happen now, the day to day running of this government or the things that really happen around you know the governance of the the, the power power um, regime and uh we see the kind economic crisis where we people in the inside not to talk about the dollar not to talk about transportation not to talk about a uh, data again we don't we, we the tariff don't go up and so many people and the killings so people we are in a dark 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 place as a country and um we need leadership for for for, for these Sierra Leoneans and hope. We need leadership for these Sierra Leoneans that say it is going to be well. We need a leadership for make Sierra Leoneans they feel that uh, everything will be okay because of the situation where we don't caught up with so uh, uh, as a country. What will be your message, having well, been representative of the APC party and very being very vocal uh, uh, on, uh, on, on a stance as a party? What message of hope will you give Sierra Leoneans as also we are approaching the 2023 election with all of this going on? The writings are on the wall. The people of Sierra Leone know say the APC now a welfare government. Anytime we're in governance, we they maximize the welfare of the people. We all know that when the APC be there in governance, there was a period where fuel go about $145 per barrel, perhaps the highest ever, yeah, in the history of fuel. But the APC not ever removed subsidies from fuel. And will not buy fuel past 6,000 leons, or what they go refer to as 6 leons now. And as by Koroma, he endured all suppressions from all institutions for remove subsidies on fuel. But he not say if he remove subsidies on fuel, now the people then go suffer. Transportation go there. The one that where they go buy plazas now, Wataloma, Shaka, and other places for cancel and Africa, then go suffer. The picking away they go school, they pay transportation go suffer. The ordinary market woman go suffer. We will not pull subsidies per fuel. That now one. We do everything possible. Unfortunately, uh, Rachel, then just don't take light. But make I conclude. The APC do everything possible for the woman. Them. Lactating mothers, that's mama, they were the breastfeed, picking them. Pregnant women and children under five. There was a free health care. We make sure say we do everything possible for law reduce infant and maternal mortality rates in this country. When it comes to education, now we introduce the school feeding project. We increase budgetary allocation. 
from what used to be three to five percent to about 17 percent before Ernest Michael Omar they left. We do everything possible for ensure say we manage all of the sectors there. Electricity, not over talk. In 2006, we'll be All right, uh, family, hopefully we go get um, Minkailu back um, now the studio. We hope, hopefully we'll get him back, um, you know, live because um, first of all, the lights don't go off. And I make the, the whole screen blank now inside. And uh, we hope say in that as if not go off. <laughs> in that as if not go off. So please, on our patience, um, so that we go able for round up this program. But uh, before the ramp roundup, let's take a listen to this. National census results came out, and secondly, there were constituencies existing at the time mm. have not been established. Have not been. Don't we have constituencies? Existing. When something is existing, has it not been established? Establishment comes before existing. They've not been dissolved, have they? As at the date of the announcement of the date Using for the election, <laughs> there, there, was, there were constituencies in existence. Using which data? Which constituency are you representing? Hmm? Which constituency are you representing? Using the 2012 data. No, no, data, which constituency are you? 003. 003. Using the 2012. Are you telling me 003 is not in existence? Using the 2012 data. It's not. As at the time the census results were announced. It is not my announced. problem. That is yes. the problem of the elimination of that geographical area. As at the time the data was, this look, census data look, was established. Look, I am a lawyer. I don't talk out of the law. <laughs> well, that's what we are saying. I know why IG problem. No. So I talk within <laughs> the law. So the, the law is this. That's what we say. When a date for general elections for members of parliament is announced. Mm -hmm. If on the date that announcement is made, there is no established constituency, then you go for the PR system. But if there is an established constituency, you don't go for the PR system, you go for the constituency may, system. May, may so now, um, let me go for that. Just, just allow me. Let me go for that. Assuming that at the time mm. when the, assuming without considering that at the time when the mm -hmm. um, announcement was made, yeah, we have provisional census result. Mm -hmm. It's still provisional. It's still provisional. It can be rejected, can't it? Provisional result can be accepted or rejected. So we still don't have established uh, 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 boundaries based on the provisional result. Because the data is, yes. is not... The data is not. Yet. So oh. for now, we have constituencies. And let me just go to one other thing. Yes. Um, Gevao, my landed Honorable Gevao has made a very alarming claim here. I don't even believe that within the SLPP, mm. their members of parliament are 99% Mende. I've just gone off my head and I've listed the names of members of parliament in the APC. And because these are the people that I'm familiar with, even though I was in, I've known him for about 30 years, is Kisi, not Mende. So now, let me just give you this. I'm going to call you the names of members of parliament of the APC that are not teamies. This is just to demolish the claim that all members, 99.9% .9 of members of the parliament representing the APC in parliament are teaming. Let me start. Honorable Chair Noria Madanba, he's fuller. Honorable <laughs> Alpha Ba, he's fuller. Honorable Manly Spain, he's Creo. Honorable Laya Mara, he's Kuranko. Honorable da Daniel Kuma, he's Kuranko. Honorable Tom Toka, Okay, um, Famulem, I think, say, we don't lost, we lost uh, um, Minkailu because Minkailu lost the light and he lost the, the data. Okay, so um, for those of you now, we're just the joining, um, on our welcome, but on our, we'll look, on our go back and look at the video, very, very educative uh, with regards to the PR system and why, uh, um, you know, the APC party, the cry foul on the PR system, um, not just for the party, but for the interest of democracy, because the PR system, they limit on our rights. The PR system, they take on our right for make on our choose the person where on our want for make it go represent on our, on our constituency. 
that's not within the PRC system debuff and at that president view endorse for the 2023 election when me say you no go get right for go for go elect the honorable where you want where you feel say it go benefit your constitution now the party now in there for choose the person where they go represent you now na on a constituency and that is not democracy and a democracy we all defeat for Nasayalion because we all don't fight so hard. People they don't lost their blood, their sweat, everything for make sure say salon enjoy democracy. And this now this kind of democracy where um the PR system one for, where the president don't endorse one for unbog with democracy. We are in you right, then don't hijack them. Say no. Now the party now you go choose for now. Whether the person the um, it, regardless of the person in background, regardless of even the person being able for deliver, waiting in Guna, not on a fatigue. And that is not democracy. And that is why the main opposition, when the APC party, is strongly kicking against this. I want to say many thanks to my viewers, them, to Una way on contributing to the program, on our messages, them, on our comments, them. I want to say thank you for taking the time. And my favorite people, they always did another program. God bless Una all. Una continue for share this video. Una love and like the video. And Una share this video because plenty, plenty information there inside where we all as Sierra Leoneans them go able for learn from and educate the other people that we not even understand. But why this PR system no good for we at this time for 2023 election? Because it is seized and disenfranchised Una right for make Una vote or make Una choose Una. Honorable level on a want now on a constituency. Imagine they go give you honorable. We not even sabi you. We not get concerned about the constituency. We not even know we we not say you know get good track record. Imagine how that could look like. And uh, that's the PR system. Uh, um, they about where the president go endorse. So it is your time. It is your turn. It is your voice to raise out to una parliamentarians them. So una people them. Now, Parliament say we no want the PR system because it's not good for democracy and it's not good for being a salon. So I want to say plenty thank you to Minkailu. You know, they now it don't go, but I want to say many thanks for this very, very educative program where it's taking time for educate salon people. Till next week, keep telling it to Rachel.